got two natures. He said that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit have one will. Yep. What I was just getting to in, in a simple sense is that Jehovah God is spoken of throughout Scripture as having a single self. Now, in 1 Corinthians 2, 11, yeah, Paul is talking, he teaches about the spirit that is in a man. Now, just another very simple example of how the followers of Yeshua believe that the Father God is a single self. And in Hebrews 2, 11, it says... Is a single self. Beautiful. Yeah, is a, is a single self. Amen. Ah, uh, sorry. The problem is here is you're, you don't... You need to understand antinomy, this idea that there are opposites in God that are true at the same time. Okay. You're sacrificing the oneness for the plurality, but yet both can be preserved. Okay. Exactly. Brother, well, no, in, in your, both. In your mind, both, in your and, mind, no, you can't. See, because you see, when Jesus said the most important commandment you was you, you, you to Hebrews, right? worship, you have, yeah, we can do Hebrews, brother. Don't, don't you worry. The most important commandment is, wait, 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 is to, to worship the Jehovah your God. So, okay. so wait, wait, so sorry, brother. So 1 Corinthians 2.11. You just broke down another point. Let, let me, let so me I, was asking, I was asking your brother there. So talking about this, these three so, wills not united. One so will. one will united, three persons, whatever. In 1 Corinthians 2.11, yeah, um, Paul says this, For who among men knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man that is in him? Thus so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. So I prose to you all, yeah? My spirit is no more a distinct person than me than the Spirit of Jehovah God is a distinct person than Jehovah. Oh man, you're, that is, you're just that is, like your Jehovah, that's crazy. That is, okay, so my brother here, God Logic, has a spirit according to Paul, yeah? And Paul says no one knows the mind of God Logic, this fine gentleman, other than his spirit. And then Paul, com Paul uh, compares Paul, myself, you, you to Jehovah God. Because he says Jehovah God has one spirit. Yeah. And that spirit is Jehovah. So, they are indistinguishable. They are not separate persons. They are one. Oh. We agree. But the thing is here, oh, right, is that... You, do you believe the spirit of God is a separate person? Yes. So there are two persons. Well, let, let him respond. Well, the There's three. Is, okay, look. Firstly, you've just gone to a verse where it talks about the spirit of God. And you haven't bothered to ask the question that's really relevant here. Why do we believe the Holy Spirit is a third person? You're just going to a verse and saying, well, look, this is what it's over. Why don't you ask us, where do we get the idea from? Because when I go, okay, first of all, ask your question, right? Did you come from your mother? Yes. Okay, do you share her nature? Yes. Are you, is she a person? Yes. Are you a person because she's a person? I suppose, yes. And you are human because she's human? Yes. And you agree to proceed or to come forth from something means you are not that thing. You have come out of it. Yeah. Okay, so when the Holy Spirit, Ek Parumana, it comes forth from the Father in John 15, 26, and is sent by the Son, yeah, you agree that if it comes forth, it shares a nature, and if the Father is a person saying, well, your mother is a person, so the Holy Spirit... No. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father, which he admitted, if you proceed forth from, you are not that thing, so the Holy Spirit is not the Father, he proceeds from the Father, no, he and he admitted that if he comes forth, he shares his nature, and he's a person, so what does that mean he has? He's a person with the divine nature. Okay, oh, okay, oh, guys, oh, guys, oh, guys, oh, guys, oh, guys. Oh, Guys, this is this is guys. Okay, okay. All he's done, it, guys. What we just saw there is is the definition of a self-licking lollipop. Yeah, like a little five-year-old child. He's just gone to the shop. He's gone in. He's brought himself a little lollipop. He's opened it and he's licking it. And you're applauding him. Why are you applauding him? What he's just spoken there is pure philosophy. I agreed with the statements that he made. None of those statements are founded in scripture. What? That's the point, brothers and sisters. Wait, wait, wait. When, he, he, when he, said, he said the spirit proceeds far from the Father. That, that's literally John 15, 26. Okay, guys. And you agree to the premises. So, guys, so you've gone back of course the spirit proceeds from the Father. It does not mean the spirit is a separate person from the Father. I don't know if you are aware. Okay. Does the Father proceed from the Father? No. So then the spirit is not the Father? The spirit is the Father. So the Father, the father proceeds from the Father. Oh. The brain malfunction is okay. crazy. I'm not gonna no, 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 no. Okay, so guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Well, here's, a, here's an interesting question, right? Because there is a, okay. just so that everyone's aware, there is a... Okay. So guys, 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 listen, listen. I mean, so in hindsight, we've already, we've already confirmed. So Paul says explicitly that the Spirit of God is no more a distinct person than the, than, the, than the Father, then your spirit is of you. These gentlemen are saying that the Trinity teaches 
Jehovah God is, a, is one what comprised of three who's, and these three who's are three distinct persons. That directly contradicts what Paul teaches in 1 Corinthians 2.11. Now let me take you to Isaiah chapter 40. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yes, I can. Okay, okay. So, and I'm going to say, okay, I need just a few seconds here. There are some passages in the New Testament that talks about the Holy Spirit that can appear confusing. That is why we must use the Hebrew Bible as our foundation stone. But it's stone. not confusing to us as Trinitarians. Good. Well, let me let me let <laughs> let's look at what Jesus. Let's look what Isaiah says regarding the Spirit of Jehovah. If we and go then, to Isaiah. And then and then let's quickly look at what Jesus says about the Spirit okay. of Jehovah. Okay. So in Isaiah 40, 40 verse thirteen, okay. we see we see Isaiah pose a rhetorical question. He says, "Who?" has directed Jehovah's spirit or taught him as his counselor. Yeah. So Isaiah is speaking again of the spirit of Jehovah as the spirit as of Jehovah's spirit, just as my spirit is my spirit, not two distinct persons. Gotcha. Now, lastly, to my love, thank you very much. Okay, lastly? Yeah, lastly, in, um, in Matthew, uh, sorry, also Job, Job says, the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of Shaddai gives life to me. Amen. So again, Job does not distinguish between the breath of Jehovah God and the Spirit of, of Adonai. They are one and the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, they amen. are not amen. two amen. distinct amen. persons yeah, in okay. any oh, way, stop, shape, stop. or form. The breath and the Spirit are not distinct persons. That's the same, That's the same Spirit. Person. You're right. But we're talking about the... Fa okay, look. You, you, said, you, said, you said let's go to the Hebrew Scriptures. You brought up Isaiah. Let's stay in Isaiah. So we're talking about the Holy Spirit, check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Isaiah 48. Okay? Verse 15, it says, I, even I, have spoken and called him. I have brought him, and he will prosper in his way. Who's speaking? Uh, I'll have to go to Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48. Oh, look, look, look. I, I got you, I got you. Look. Verse 14. Verse 14. Uh, okay. Hold on. All right. Oh, right, yeah, here it is. Listen to me, O Jacob. Mm -hmm. And Israel, whom I called, mm -hmm. I am he, mm -hmm. I am the first and the last, yeah. right? Yep. That's jo Jehovah speaking, yeah. you would agree? Yeah. Okay. My hand laid the foundation of the earth, yep. my right hand spread out the heavens. Yep. When I call to them, they stand forth together. Amen. Assemble all of you and listen. Mm -hmm. Who among you? Who among them has decreed these things? Yeah. The Lord loves him. Mm -hmm. He shall perform his purpose on Babylon, mm -hmm. and his arm shall be against the Chaldeans. Mm -hmm. God's still speaking, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, even I am he. Uh, I'm sorry. I, even I have spoken mm -hmm. and called him. Mm -hmm. I have brought him, and he shall prosper in his way. Mm -hmm. Still Jehovah speaking? Mm -hmm. Draw near to me. Mm -hmm. Hear this. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, I have not spoken in secret. Still Jehovah speaking? We'll see. What, what do you we'll mean we'll, we'll see? see. We'll see. Where, where does it change? The, the point is, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no not ladies question. and gentlemen. Us. No, 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 you asked me why. Okay. So here's the thing that I just want oh, to. Oh no, 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 stop. Here. You asked me a question. I did. Okay. I said, I said. I said you, you asked me who is still speaking. Yeah, who's yeah. speaking? Yeah. So and and what I said was, um, I'm not certain if that still is Jehovah speaking there, because we know in the book. Well, first of all, I'm not Isaiah. I've not studied Isaiah 48 recently in depth, but we know throughout the prophets that the speaker can change from the prophet to the prophet speaking in the first person Whoa. of Jehovah with the so, vision. So, who, so you, wait, wait, do you Hold think on. that, you think Isaiah is saying, draw near to me, hear this? I have... Would, would a prophet have, not say from, that? From the beginning... Would a prophet not say I, that? Even I have spoken, I have called him? Sorry, sorry, brother, sorry. Of course a prophet would say that. I've called him? Yeah. Who did Isaiah call? No, sorry, you know, we, we just swapped to this bit here. You're saying, you're saying, would a prophet say, draw near, near to me and hear this? I would say, absolutely, a prophet would say There's that. There's a problem, There's a problem, so... Because well, it says... Does the Lord... Because it says, from the beginning, I have not been in secret. As in, if you read this entire text, guys... Every well, well, what's, what's the point of the argument here? Every single time I read this. Anytime I say I, I want you all to say it together with me. Can you do that, guys? But, no, no, you're, you're, okay. you're, you're playing to your audience. You're not making I'm a gonna, coherent I argument. Do, I want you to do it with me. Can you do that with me? No, no, no. Every time it says I, I just want you to read it Wait with me, second. okay? So, just, just give me. Listen to me, O Jacob, and Israel, whom I have called. Oh, so, same person speaking, everyone. Yes. I am he. I am the first and the last. Yeah, and the last. And my hand laid the foundation of the earth. And my right hand spread out onto the heavens. When I call to them, they stand forth together. 
Assemble all of you and listen. Who among them has declared these things? The Lord loves him. He shall perform his purpose on Babylon, and his arms shall be against the Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken and called him. I, have brought him, and he will prosper to his way. Stop. Okay. There's, there's God yeah, I, reckon, I reckon that on, on this, at the moment, I've got no issue with that being God, okay, God speaking. He's still, so God is speaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what does God say? Okay. Draw near to me and hear this. From the beginning, I have not spoken in secret. Uh -huh. From the time it came to be, I have been there. Do you hear that? Is that God speaking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now watch what God what says. Say next? And now he says, this is Jehovah speaking. No, no, sorry, stop, stop for a second. This is what Jehovah says. No, no, no. And no, no, no. now, Adonai Yahweh, Adonai Jehovah, has sent me and his spirit. And his spirit. Okay. okay, okay, guys. Okay. Oh. Let's all get out our lollipops. Let's get our lollipops. Ladies and gentlemen. No, brother, brother. Just, guys. Just, just, let's submit no, no, no. this point. Let's submit this point. Okay. If no. God is the one who's speaking, no. it says that God, okay. Okay. Jehovah says that Jehovah sent me. How can okay. Jehovah be sent? Okay, guys. If he's only one person. Okay. But then, wait, wait. He says, Jehovah says, Jehovah sent me and his spirit. So Jehovah sent Jehovah and his spirit. How are they the same person? Did the They're Father not. send himself? Did the Father so, send himself with his own spirit? No. So he sends himself with his own spirit? So, so, so ladies and gentlemen, the there's a really said, important principle like that if you, if you believe the in the authority of Scripture, and in particular the New Testament as being our guide, yeah, we've got to submit to the testimony <laughs> of Luke chapter 24 and Acts chapter 1. Uh, that tells us that after... Wait, I'm going to answer the question. Give me a second, please. Okay. No, no, this is a really important point, brother. It's a really important point. You have to answer this directly. Every single time any of these two people have brought you a question, this is what you've done. I'm going to like do it in real time. Okay, mate. You've done this. Yeah. So what you need to understand, everybody, is that you need to answer their question. This is a very simple question. Okay. It's a yes or a no. Yeah. Did so, the Father yeah. send himself? No. Did the, no. Did the Father no, no. proceed okay. himself? Okay. okay, guys. This text, my start point, is an illegitimate proof text to discuss the nature of the Father and the nature of Yeshua, and I'll tell you why. Okay. In Luke chapter 24, we are given two witnesses that after the resurrection of Jesus, he spent 40 days teaching his disciples which specific passages in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms were about him. And it even says he supernaturally opened their minds so he could understand the scriptures. The point is, gentlemen, this passage is never quoted in the New Testament as speaking about Jesus, nor is it used to discuss the nature of God in the New Testament. You have plucked this verse from obscurity and you've elevated it into the position of a false god and by it you are trying to you are deceiving point. people it is wait, wait, the point wait, wait, ladies wait, wait, and gentlemen because this scripture is wait, never used by jesus it's never used by paul or peter ever how can you say it's irrelevant how can you say because, it is irrelevant because, because brothers say, you, and sisters look, if you're saying you, you, you look yeah, exactly huh? you, you, no it's not you 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 say look, do we wait, wait wait no no let's not play that game look if you're saying yeah. that jesus never brings this up or the New Testament never quotes this as talking about Jesus, yep. bears no relevance to our question to you. It does. No, we're, no, I it don't doesn't. have to answer because the question. Look, it's, not a, it's not a messianic yeah, prophecy. Was, was it's your, not... No, no. Was your, 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 you brought up about the Spirit being a distinct person. So we're talking about the Spirit. It oh. says here that Yahweh sent Yahweh and His okay. Spirit. And so my Did, point was, gentlemen... Is that, so is it, Yahweh the same as His Spirit? Yes, Yahweh oh. and His Spirit are the same thing, indistinguishable. Are they the same person? They are, no, the Spirit is not a person. Oh, okay. Jehovah, oh. the, the you, you, Spirit so is not a person. So, when you say, no, what is it? No, no, what, 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 what do you mean, what, what is it? What, 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 okay, okay, brothers, let's go back to 1 Corinthians. What is your spirit? Wait, wait, hold on a second. Hold what on is second. your spirit? You're, you're so close because you acknowledge that the Spirit is not distinguished from Yahweh and His being. You acknowledge that. However, where you mess up, oh, well, yeah, of course, of course. amen, hallelujah. But where, course, you, where you slip is where you say, ah, but he's not a person. Well, the spirit is not a person. Because you agreed earlier, you said that when someone comes forth from a person, they are a person. No, no, brother, nature. I agree to your questions. I answered them. Yeah, but your definitions don't apply to Jehovah God. Why? Because in 1 Corinthians 2.11, Paul tells you. It doesn't follow. It does, brother. Oh, you're, you're, you, you've, oh, made oh, some, you've made some, you've made something up, yeah? Oh, 
and, and just okay. I'm using scripture. No, you yeah, just yeah, made yeah, nonsense up because I come forth from oh, my I mother. Because I, because I come forth from my mother, yeah, yeah. and I'm a separate I'm person from my mother. Person, yeah, person. you are now saying that the because of one verse in John, yeah, yeah, yeah that the, the Spirit comes forth from the Father. That the Spirit is a separate person. What I'm saying is that interpretation contradicts the multiple clear texts in the New Testament. Now, can I just I just want to just do one and then you you go, okay? No, stay here. Stay no, no, I am. This is about Jesus. No, it's not about Jesus right now. No, no, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to talk about what I'm, Jesus I'm, says I'm about just, the Spirit. No, look, I'm just asking you right here. Yeah. The, who sends? Oh, guys, who sends the Spirit? According to this verse, the Father sends okay. the Spirit. Is the Father the Spirit? This. Okay. In. Okay, guys. Close guys. Oh. Okay. So, there is a passage in Isaiah, which is which is spoken about in Revelation a number of times, where it talks about the seven spirits of Jehovah. Yeah, and there is the prophetic statement that the root of Jesse will rise up, and the spirit of Jehovah will be on him. And it talks about seven distinct spirits of the Father. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of courage, the spirit of might, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of godliness, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Jehovah promised in the book of Isaiah, and you're aware of this, that he would raise up a human being, a servant upon whom he would place his spirit. The point is scripture teaches us, ladies and gentlemen, that there is the spirit of Jehovah, as in his spirit, just like your spirit, but there is also the seven spirits of Jehovah God. Now we read in the book of Revelation. Wait, is the spirit of Jehovah separate from the seven spirits? Yes. They're the same thing, man. Brother, brother, so look. In the book of Revelation, okay. so in the book of Revelation, we are taught that the risen and the, so you're all looking with the surprised faces because you never would have read Isaiah chapter 11. This is heresy. It's what? It's heresy. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 11, brother, because you know it. And it is a fascinating passage. It talks about the seven spirits of Jehovah. What now, the resur have to do with my because question? the resurrected Jesus declares that he has been given authority over the seven spirits of Jehovah at his resurrection. That's not what he says. Yes, it is. This is, I am the one who holds, who has, who, who has control over the seven spirits of Jehovah. That is what Jesus is talking about when he's talking about what he's going to send after he's been resurrected. Uh, this is what, this so, this is, I, is the point. What was, so, what was my question? Is Jehovah sending his spirit? No, my question was, is, is the Father the spirit that no. he sent? Yeah. So, this, the Father and the Spirit, in one sense, are indistinguishable, yeah? Yes. They are one and the same. Yes. The Spirit of Jehovah is not a distinct person from the Father, according to the prophets, according to Paul, according to Yeshua. I, I, I got you. Yeah? Look, look this, is my, and this, so, this is my question with what you just said. You said, in one sense, the Spirit is indistinguishable from the Father. Amen. In what way are they distinguishable? Because you said he's not the Spirit. not. Okay, so, so here's the question again. Yeah. Is the Father the Spirit? Yes. So the Holy Spirit. So yes. I got you. And I'll tell you. So in Matthew, so look, the in Father Matthew, proceeds. Wait. So if the Father no. is the Spirit, then the Father, then the father sent the Father, right? No. So look. No, yes. no. Say it. The Father sent the Father. No. That's just say it. That's what. That's what. That's, no. that's what your theology leads to. No, it doesn't. Because there are some passages in Scripture where the language is slightly confusing. Look in Matthew this chapter. This is not confusing. In, in Matthew it's chapter twelve. Not confusing. Guys, in Matthew this, chapter is this twelve. Confusing to anybody. Oh. Is the is the Father the Spirit? No. Does the Father send the Spirit? Yes. Are they distinct persons? So guys, yes. can you so, be the same person you sent? No. Is that okay. not confusing? Okay, so Isaiah says this. So you all say you all agreeing with God logic, yet in Isaiah 40:12, this is what Isaiah says, who has directed Jehovah's Spirit? It's a rhetorical question. Obviously. No one directs Jehovah's Spirit because it is the Spirit of Jehovah. Exactly. It is the Spirit of Almighty God. Look, in Matthew chapter 12, just listen, listen to this, please. This is Yeshua explicitly teaches that the titles, the Spirit of the God, yeah, the Spirit and the Holy Spirit are all interchangeable for the Spirit of Jehovah. We it's not this. talking of a separate person. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah? It's not stop, talking stop. about Look, a separate person. We understand that the Spirit has all these different titles. We all understand this, right? The Spirit has different titles. Is one of the titles of the Spirit Father? Mm -mm. Okay, so the Father is distinct from the Spirit, correct? No. 
Okay, okay. Get me, get me out of here. Okay. Oh, no, no, brothers. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Chill out, chill out. I'm going to leave. It's okay, it's okay. Finger foot. It's not okay. Finger foot, finger foot. Finger foot, finger foot. Finger foot. Okay, guys. Could you read out 1 Corinthians 11? Can I read this again? Okay, can I just read this again, please, guys? Let's listen to what Paul says. Because you're all mocking me for saying the Spirit of Jehovah God is not a distinct person from Jehovah. But I want you to listen to what Paul God. says. This is what Paul says. Right, for, who, for who among men knows the things of a man uh -huh. except the Spirit of the man yeah. that is in him? That's right. Yeah? It's okay. Uh, we copy that. Thus no yeah. one knows the things of the God except the Spirit of the God. Why are you applying a different rule to what Paul says here to and accept what these gentlemen are teaching. You are directly contradicting. That's not a contradiction. Do you know, can you demonstrate the P and not P here? What? Lord, Lord, you just, Lord, hold on. Lord of logic number one. Just thing is, you just did something crazy. You just appealed to logic. Every time he's appealed to logic, you said it's philosophy. philosophy. Okay. Oh, no, no, before your okay. brain malfunctions, let me finish, please, <laughs> okay? Before your brain malfunctions, let me finish. Okay. He gave you a syllogism, which is logic. You said, well, that doesn't really make sense because there's times in scripture where this is that. But he used logic, which no, you can't contradict. It. You just okay. appealed and said it's a whoa, whoa. You just appealed okay, guys, guys, and said that it's a that, contradiction. That, that, that description the there problem with is it, super could clear. I please, okay, it's very, <laughs> so very clear. All of this is very clear. All of this is very clear. Is very clear. Okay, I'm going to ask, I'm going to do the we're, same we're thing. We're going to wrap okay. up too. Yeah, we're, we're going to wrap up I, well. I need to cook a Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that's very clear is this. Yeah. Yahweh sends his spirit. Yahweh, in the sense of essence, is the same. The Father and the Spirit are the same in essence. That's why there's one God. That's very easy. We can account for this unity and distinction. However, the Father did not send himself. Neither did the Father die on the cross. The Father did not eperuamon from himself. That is the Greek word in John 15, 26. Scripture. Scripture. In John, it says that the Spirit proceeds, from as he says. From comes out of. Now here's, now here's the question I want to ask. You can use the Septuagint to help you. Is there any time where something proceeds out from God, ekporuemon, apart from the Holy Spirit? Ever. Ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is there ever something in Scripture that proceeds from the Father? Other than Christ. Other than Christ. Christ doesn't proceed from the Father. Christ is begotten the, the, from the, 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 the Spirit. Yes, I agree. Yeah, as we, as you guys were not here when I spoke to God logic about the seven spirits of Jehovah. Clearly, God can place His Spirit upon His prophets, and He promises to do that upon the Anointed One. And Yeshua, now as High Priest, can also place the Spirit, the seven spirits of Jehovah God, for the building up and edification of the church. What was but my those, question? those spirits are not separate persons. So what yes, was my question? the power of God, the Spirit of God can emanate okay. from the Father. Okay, okay. Yeah. my question was, yeah. does anything else proceed from the Father? Not an emanation, it's a procession. You tell me, brother. Nothing, no. nothing else. Yeah, yeah. So this means that the Holy Spirit yeah. is not just God's power. Because uh -huh. God's power doesn't proceed from himself. Otherwise, there was a period where he didn't have his power. But eternally, what? the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. The yes. same way that the Son is begotten yes, from the Father. Okay. Can I just Very encourage simple. you all to do a study on the seven spirits of Jehovah? That's a, that's a look, good study. Very good look, study. Good study. Good study. Guys, guys, look. So no, this is not wisdom. Energies, that's what? Gregor, it's the divine energies of what? God. We can talk about that in Exodus 33. We can go there. We can chat no, about No, no, let, let, let's just go to what? Isaiah 11. Okay, okay no, sorry, we, sorry. We, we you said you haven't studied Isaiah in depth. Guys, guys, seriously. On a serious note, we got to wrap up. I need to... Well, God logic. You can... Yeah, do you, uh, no, do you want to say something last or you want to yeah, suggest us? Yeah. Um, I am very grateful for speaking to God Logic. Um, he, passionate man, you work very hard. Thanks. Um, and uh, I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to speak to you. Um, I do hope that maybe off camera, clearly not now because you're heading back, yeah. but um, I don't need to do stuff on camera. Yeah. You know, yeah, we can just to talk. I'll be out here soon. We can you know, or back. maybe your do can give me a number. I could come on your channel. but. Even just doing stuff off channel, so there isn't a requirement to have to win an argument, okay. but we can just chat, yeah. and that would be that would be cool because okay. I know you study the scriptures a lot, um, and uh, yeah. But I'll just encourage you all: just do a word study on the seven spirits of Jehovah, and look at how Jesus, when he is elevated to his position as high priest, Jehovah God gives him authority over the seven spirits for the edification and building up of the church. 
I believe those spirits are something slightly distinct from the spirit of Jehovah. We agree. Yeah. We actually agree. Yeah. So, but yeah. Thank okay. you. Then All right. Is distinct from the divine essence. Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah, guys. Good uh, wrap up. Good conversation. Let's go ahead and move on and see what else we can get today, all right? Yes, God bless you all, Jason, one more Jesus Christ. Right. That's right, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Christ is King! 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 You should chant it too, you believe that? I do, I think, yeah. it's, I think it's really cool you guys are saying that. I, mean, I think it's really cool. You know. That one will get you By the way, just... When now Does anybody need their mics? Yeah, yeah. You got all right, who needs this one? Um, we got mics on us that, you know... When, when speaking with Muslims, yeah. have, you never, have you ever considered that actually the Quran teaches that Jesus did die on the cross? Yes, actually. Yeah. 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 But it, is, but it, you, de you're... it depends on what mood I'm in, with, oh, okay. then I'll take yeah, that yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, because it, it never denies that the crucifixion happened. Yeah. It actually, there are verses that says that he does die. And just leading up yeah. to that verse, it talks about how the Jews had killed the prophets. So yep. it wouldn't make a lot of sense if he's talking about you've killed the prophets before this one. But, but Allah didn't let, let him let this be time. killed. Yeah. But it's fascinating. I saw a video with a Jewish man there's a, um, in Israel recently speaking with the Messianic. And it was fascinating. So he was denying Jesus was the Messiah because he died on the cross, which is exactly the argument that the Quran is talking yeah, about. But um, exactly. hey, mate, I do, Paul. I'm really, you were really very kind. Yeah, you too. And, you too. Um, it was good. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like that. You're a good sport, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that yours as well? Yeah.